Right. Hey, I'm here with Mark Suster from GRP Partners in LA. How you doing? I'm Mark? doing great. Great to be and, with you. And you're speaking uh, this afternoon here at Blue. I and, am. Uh, what's the topic are you talking? So I'm talking about cloud computing mm -hmm. and specifically addressing platforms and where I think companies need to focus as they build platform companies. Yeah, great. And you've made some uh, investments in those kinds of companies. I, I have suppose, already. Well, you want to want to name a few for the folks? Or? Well, I guess the most obvious. This one is called Factual. It's a layer that sits um, above storage and above compute resources. It's actually data. So if you think about what it takes to launch an application as a startup, you need storage, you need processing, but then a lot of what people do is they have to figure out how do I assemble data? Or how do I buy a database? Or how do I go out and crawl the web? What Factual does is it crawls it all, it normalizes it, it produces higher quality databases, and then it provides it as a platform. Ah, and when did you make your investment in? Oh, about a year ago. Okay, or so. yeah. And they are in the Bay Area. No, they're in Los Angeles. Oh, they are. So yeah. So you're staying close to home for that one, huh? It was founded by Gil Elbaz. Gil built a company called Applied Semantics. Oh sure. It was yeah. sold to Google pre-IPO. Ah. Applied Semantics became Google AdSense. Ah. And you know he has him. He's a Caltech alum. He's, you know, uh, Pasadena, yeah. Very smart guy, and he's yeah. assembling a team around him of very talented, technical wow. individuals. Wow. So uh, who else are, are, do you want to talk about some of your recent investments? Anyone else? Or? Well, I'd, if I stick to this theme rather than talk about yeah. my investments, yeah. okay? Yeah. I don't want to make it promotional. Yeah. But in the theme, I'll tell you companies I've seen in, uh, lately that interest me, okay? Mm -hmm. One is called Retailigence. Retail agents. Oh. And what they're doing My is... My friends at Best Buy would be very interested in this. I think they would. I'm glad I caught you. In so, fact, uh, Robert Stevens says hello. Okay. The CTO of yes, Best Buy. Did, we uh, exchanged you, a yes. lot of information. Did, did you see him at Google I.O. or weren't you there? I didn't okay. go to Google okay. I.O. Yeah. But anyway. um, well, tell I'd us love about, to organize a trip to Minneapolis. Oh, please and, do, yeah. And come meet them. I'll make I mean, sure. I don't know if you know, my firm, GRP, I sure used to do. stand for Global Retail Yes, partners, I so. knew that. Yes, yes. Um, so we don't invest so much in retail anymore, but we invest in a lot of companies that use data mm -hmm. or information to uh, streamline the retail process. Yeah. So this company, Retelligence, which we're not investors, and I want to be clear, okay. but what they do is they go on one side to a bunch of retail companies, and all these guys are getting pestered by mobile apps. They're getting pestered by group deals, and yep. they don't know how to deal with all these data providers. So they're taking it all, putting it in a database, normalizing it, and then providing it to app providers. And it streamlines the process for app providers who then don't need to go negotiate with every retail. Oh, very cool, yeah. So it'll, it does things like, um, not just what is your location, but what inventory do you have? So let's say Pottery Barn, which is, I'm pretty sure is a client of theirs, and you're thinking about buying something at the local Pottery Barn, not PotteryBarn.com. I want to know, do they have that thing at my local store? Yeah. And Retelligence provides the data to tell oh, you. Oh, interesting, yeah. So um, tell us about your, your blogging. You've become a very well-followed VC you. blogger. Appreciate and, that. Uh, and and uh, do you get, uh, well, tell us. Tell us what it's been like for you. Well, let me start with the basics of how I got started. And I always like to give all credit to Brad Feld. Brad started blogging. He's the man. Yeah, he wrote the term sheet series. Yes. I had been through one startup, and nobody ever had this information publicly. Yeah. I didn't know what does a term sheet look like? How do you negotiate it? How should I talk to VCs? How do I get access to VCs? How do they make decisions? And because Brad put all that information out there, I always thought, that's a guy I'd love to raise money from. Oh, yeah. And I thought, well, if that worked for Brad, you know, maybe I could provide that kind of transparency. The other thing that drove When did you me, meet Brad first? Oh, probably only two years ago oh, or so, okay. yeah. This is your first time to uh, one of these events? Yes, in Denver? it is. Yeah. It yeah. is. Cool. And I had been wanting to come out for oh, a long yeah. time. Yeah, they're great. And uh, I spent all day yesterday in Boulder. I met about 15 companies. Ah, the Techstars companies, huh? Not just Techstars. Oh, some others. Techstars, some others. Okay. Blown away by the innovation that's oh, yeah. here, by the seriousness of the tech yep. professional, yep. the tech community. But on the point of blogging, the other thing I realized is my job, my daily existence was one-on-one -on -one discussion. 
questions. And I, I'm an opinionated guy, so I always tell people, here's what I think you should do. And I thought, it's not scalable. But what if I could take the same thing that I've been saying yeah. for the last five years about, you know, hire people who punch above their weight class because yeah. they're always better than hiring people who have done it before, and I'll just put it out and so many people can read it. Sure. I had no expectation for how big it was going to become. Yeah, well, it, uh, you sure have lots of followers now. And, for sure. Uh, it's, good, it's good to know that uh, Brad was uh, one of your inspirations. So. I'd say he was the main one. Yeah. yeah. As a, as a and he's the main reason you're here, I'm sure, probably. Probably right. He is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I. I. Uh, well, Brad has done a great job of supporting me in Los Angeles and coming yeah. and spending time with entrepreneurs. I mean, everyone in LA wants to meet Brad. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. got to pay it forward. You got to get back. Yeah. But in my own right, I wanted to discover what's unique about Boulder because I made a lot of investments in LA, mm -hmm. but GRP has made most of our money investing outside of Silicon Valley uh -huh. and not just in LA. We had two amazing returns in New York. We had one in Baltimore. We had two in Chicago. We had one in Arizona. Beautiful. One in Las Vegas. We got to get Minneapolis on that list. Too. We, we have to put it up. <laughs> we have an investment in Minneapolis now. Which one? It's called MPay Gateway. What MPay oh, Gateway yeah. does is they help doctors who have very hard time actually with collections with consumers. It's a payment processing platform for doctors. Ah, now so my colleague Brian's out there every six or eight weeks. Really? How, when did you make that investment? About two years ago. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, so yeah. it wasn't my investment, so yeah. I don't right. Uh, right. Right. end right. up out there as much as he does. Well, we'll get you back uh, to yeah. Best Buy or something here, and, and, and I'll certainly... Uh, there would be tons of reasons to do so. Oh, we'd love to have you, Mark, and uh, great talking with you. I'll let you get back to the awesome. conference.